Hello everyone, welcome back to the Bits and Nuts channel. And today we are going to be reviewing a 1970s portable cassette tape recorder. And there is it, if only I can go ahead and do a little unveiling for you guys. There you go. It's in its little leather cover. And I'm going to take it out of the cover. And we're going to test this thing out. There's a little screw down here. I'm going to have to unscrew this to get the tape recorder. Well, after painstakingly unscrewing that leather cover, we finally have the main attraction. The Toshiba Scoop Mini Mini IC Cassette Recorder. Now, we're not going to be looking at the papers over there. We're going to be looking at this device right here. This good old device from the 1970s. It's, it's powered by 6 volts, AC and DC. It's a KT-273 Toshiba Cassette Recorder. And... A, you know, judging by the vintage logo, it looks like it's from the 70s. And there's some stuff written on, on in, in Japanese. There's the other side. This is where you actually put the batteries in. There's the reverse. And there's also this side as well. When I first bought this thing, I had no idea if this thing was working until I put batteries in it. And sure enough, it did. But let's see if there's any batteries in this thing. Nothing. Looks like I'm gonna have to load the battery, so we're gonna go in and... Oh wait, we already have ba... Ah, oh, she's... It's one of these... Oh god, no. Ah, uh, uh. oh, this... That's not good. Well, I did not expect to find some corroded-looking super heavy-duty batteries in this. But that's pretty much unfortunate. So we're gonna take this... We're gonna take out these batteries right now so that it doesn't damage the terminals on this little battery pack. So, I'm actually gonna do the operation in here. Oh, there goes one battery. Oh, I'm supposed to show you on the camera. There goes the other battery. Uh, there goes the third battery. And there goes the last battery. Let's see if I can take that thing out. These are AC Delco branded super heavy duty batteries. Oh. Uh, yeah, as you can see, there's some corrosion on this thing. You know, super heavy duty batteries tend to look very nasty when they start to corrode. Ugh. Well, the battery terminals have been saved. I know it looks a bit blurry on the camera. So we're going to load this up with some brand new alkaline batteries real quick. There are the dirty batteries, and I'll load them up with brand new alkaline batteries. Well, I happen to have a pack of four batteries with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. The grand unboxing shot, yeah. Well, there you go, there's your four batteries. There they are, four brand new alkaline batteries. And I'm going to fit these batteries in this little pack well here's the brand new battery pack we are going to put it back inside this little cassette recorder put it back in and let's see if it works now all right it appears to be working and as you can see there's a spindle spinning around it now let's load the cassette inside and record this baby up. Well, the cassette that I'm gonna be using to record is this Soviet cassette tape from like 1990. And yeah, this is interesting in my opinion because you don't get to see these every day, especially if you live in the US. Well, there's a cassette itself. There's a price for rubles, but you know what? Let's forget that. Let's just dig into this thing and record this. So, in goes the cassette, and I'm going to go find a location on the cassette tape where there's no music. Well, there goes my cassette tape on my quest to find a blank track on this because I can't use the fast forward feature because it, this cassette recorder won't let me. Alright, I found a blank track on this cassette, and I'm going to go ahead and start recording. In order to record, you gotta flip the cassette recorder like this. 
and start speaking. Hello everyone, this is Razareg from the Bits and Nuts channel, and what you're hearing is my voice on a Soviet cassette tape from 1990 being recorded on through a Toshiba Scoop Mini KT273 IC cassette recorder. I hope you've enjoyed this recording and thank you very much for listening. Hello everyone, this is Rosalind from the Bits and Nuts channel and what you're hearing is my voice on a Soviet cassette tape from 1990 being recorded on through a Toshiba Scoop Mini KT273 IC cassette recorder. I hope you've enjoyed this recording and thank you very much for listening. Well, that is a loud recording. Well, that's because I have the volume turned up to max. Um, some things I have to say about the recording. It's I wouldn't say that the recording is that great, but it's hey, it still records and it still functions well. Um, the only problem, yeah, the voice is kind of distorted, so, yeah, that's sometimes, like, the problem with, like, old cassette recorders. They're not, the recording quality is not really that great, unless you use quality recording material and quality cassettes. And as you can see, there's, like, a pause button, but I'm not going to be really using that. There's the open button, this is where you get the battery pack, you press this to get the batteries out, and, you know... You fast forward to fast forward to, to fast forward the tape you do this as you rewind you do this and to press play uh, you got you gotta make sure it's like this or else you're gonna inadvertently hit record and to hit record you gotta put the cassette cassette recorder like this there's a counter you can press this thing this reset zero and there are some plugs in there where you can put a microphone or you know a AC adapter into it. Well, I'm using battery power for this one. Um, there's a microphone, and there's also like the battery, like something to test the batteries out. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't work here as it used to. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching my review on the Toshiba Scoop Mini IC cassette recorder model KT-273. And like, subscribe, and Comment down below on what you think about this thing. This is bits this this is Rosareg from the Bits and Nuts channel and I will see you next time.